Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Gourmet Air Fryer. So this is a 6.7 litre or 7 quart digital air fryer. And this comes from Costco. It's pretty cheap. It's about £50. What I'm going to do is to put the actual price I paid for this on screen now. And basically this is the same air fryer that they use to heat up all the samples that you see in Costco. So I presume that this one is going to be a very reliable, safe bet despite the fact that it is also one of the cheapest air fryers that you can buy. So today I'm just going to do a very quick unboxing just to see how this works and then do a little bit of food. In the package we have this. So here I'm just going to take out the air fryer. So it's a pretty bare bones kind of package. We have the manual uh, warranty information here. And overall, this looks pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to go through the documents that you kind of get included. So I've got a manual here. This has all of the information about the purchase. We've got our display control panel, safeguards, heat sound, cord storage, crisper tray, multi-purpose rack, all of the kind of controls on the digital display the various presets that we can use, using the air fryer, etc. Okay, so that's the manual. This is just saying that if you use it for the first time, there might be a hot plastic smell, that's fine. Here's a warning saying do not put the air fryer on a cooking surface, good point. And then we have a basic recipe book. So we can do things like chicken with orange and olives and uh, crispy glazed cabbage steaks. So plenty of ideas for your air fryer. So plastic packaging off, look a little bit closer. So take out this nice peel. We have our cord storage at the back, so that's fine. Then on the side, we'll just take the sticker off so we can actually look at the fry tray. Okay, and so, you know, the mechanism for this, so the mechanism for this is pretty straightforward. We have just this thing which just pulls out entirely and apparently this whole thing is dishwasher safe. So we're just gonna unwrap what's inside here. So there's a metallic tray here which we need to crisp up food. So this is a metal tray which has a little bit of a gap here. It's got kind of silicon padded kind of uh, risers here. So basically it sits on top of this bottom basket and gives clearance so that the kind of hot air can kind of act around it. Here we've got this metal riser and uh, yeah, this is obviously gonna allow you to put food in and then allow it to rise up so that it's not touching the bottom of this. So most of the time we're probably gonna be using this tray and we're just gonna slot this in. This is a very snug fit with the silicon risers on the side. And that is how this works. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in, kind of wash this up and see it working for the first time. So here we're just gonna give this a little bit of a soapy wash. So what's quite interesting is that I've cleaned the tray itself now and it's won't actually turn on properly unless you put the actual tray inside and then you can actually use all the functions. So today I'm going to do a first run of this. I'm going to be cooking some taiyaki, which is also a Costco product. So this is basically a sweet snack, which is kind of been deep fried. I'm going to air fry again so it's nice and crispy and hot. And uh, this specifically has air fry instructions too. You can get these from Costco. So this also has air fry instructions. All we've got to do is to preheat the air fryer to 180 and then basically fry them for seven to eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now so the first thing you need to do is to press the air fry button and then we're going to go ahead and tweak the time so we want seven minutes and then we press the temp time button again to switch to temperature and we're going to go to 180 okay so that's basically done and then we press the start button and it's going to go ahead and preheat now i'm going to take out a couple of these taiyaki and then put it straight into so these are small ones here like this going to do a test run we'll do two let's do four of them okay we'll pop them back in and uh now that it's preheated and ready to go it's counting down seven minutes 180 degrees celsius so let's go wait for that to finish okay so we're just about to finish this particular air fry run 
Uh, halfway through, at 3 minutes 50, it did beep as well, so that's kind of a reminder to help you to flip over any kind of food. And that's saying end. And um, basically, I'm going to go back a little bit and take out some of the food. So, those look pretty nicely air fried. And basically, we see here, very kind of crispy. Exactly the kind of texture you want from something that's been air fried. So, let's open this up. So very nicely done, very crispy. Pretty sure you're not supposed to open these up like that, you're probably supposed to eat these all in one go. Very, very crispy, very, very nice. So anyway, that is the Gourmet Costco Air Fryer. This is my first initial impressions, very impressed with the size and the performance. Obviously, if they use this in actual Costco's on a daily basis, then it must be pretty good. It's also one of the cheapest air fryers that you can currently buy on the market, and also one of the largest as well. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.